Hold on, uh, I'm sorry, what? I can hear you. Hello, on behalf of Grand Caribbean Cruises, and you can press 1 to be removed. And I show here that you are somebody in the household that enjoys traveling. Uh, so we're looking for a few people willing to spread the word about our cruise liner. Um, and what we would do is have you occupy unused cabin space aboard a magnificent cruise liner for free, and in turn generate some positive word of mouth advertising. So what we do is give you a free Bahamas luxury cruise simply to show you a good time. And all we ask in return is that you tell your family and friends about us when you get home. You can do that, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, so let me just ask you a couple of questions to make sure you qualify. Um, it'll only take a moment, and then what I can have you do is speak to the free cruise vacation specialist. I can tell you more about it, and also answer any other questions you have, okay? Okay. Sounds good. Okay, first off, I just need to verify that you're at least the age of 25, correct? Oh yeah, I'm 29. Great, hey, so this looks really good. Uh, congratulations, you do qualify for the free cruise. Um, now you will be responsible for your port tax of $65 per person, but I just want to tell you that there is nothing like a cruise to the Bahamas. Uh, so I'm going to place you on a brief hold to connect you to a vacation specialist, but I'll stay on the line with you to be sure you're connected. Uh, so please hold on. Okay, sure, that sounds good. So how's the weather where you are? Uh, right now it's 82 degrees. Hello? Hello, welcome to Grand Caribbean Cruises. My name is Cedric. I'm showing you a transfer to receive a free Bahamas cruise, correct? Yeah, yeah. That, I was talking to a lady right. before you, and I, she asked me how's the weather, so I answered. Oh, okay. How's yeah. The <laughs> yeah, well, here in Phoenix, it's uh, 82 degrees currently. Oh, wow. Well, right. it's, it's early in the morning. Nice. Yes, sir. Um, now, um, before I get into all the exciting details, I just need to inform you that this call may be recorded, and I also need to verify that you're over the age of 25, correct? Yes, I'm 29. Oh, okay, great. Again, um, my name is Cedric with Grand Caribbean Cruises, and, and what is your name? My name is Joseph Strickenheimer. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. You said your name is Cedric? Thank you. Yeah, Cedric. Nice, like Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. you do. Now, um, yeah, oh, uh, okay. Well, um, uh, well, uh, let me tell you about this, uh, Grand Caribbean Cruise. Okay. Uh, we're running a limited time promotion to fill our used cabin, so... All of your meals for two passengers and electric private cabin are included. And the best of all, you have a full 18 months to provide your own transportation to Florida to use your free cruise. Would that be enough time to get you here to use your free cruise? 18 months is, uh, yeah, that's plenty of time. That would get me to, what? Uh, that'd get me to December 20, 2020, I mean. Yeah, oh, okay, great. Yeah, yeah, full 18 months. Yeah. Uh, all right, great. Now, uh, Joseph, um, the idea behind this free cruise promotion is to take the percentage of the unused cabins that we have each month and allow you and guests to enjoy this luxury two-day, two-night cruise complimentary. Now, we know when you're on board, you might, you know, do maybe do a little drinking or gambling in our casino, possibly even spend a little money in the souvenir shops, and that would generate more revenue than the empty cabin would. Makes sense, right? I guess so, but I mean, a casino, you know, if you think about it, really, if I were to, let's say, play at the casino and I hit the jackpot or something on one of the slot machines or hit their, uh, you know, hit their mega million jackpot or something, I'd be going home with more money than I started with, so how would they make money in that regard? I mean, <clears throat> I mean, again, like... With um, I mean, I'm sure other people are going to be doing the same thing, gambling and, and spending money at the shops and stuff. So that's pretty. I mean, it would definitely generate some type of income rather than just an empty cabin. Right, right. I'm just saying, you know, uh, you, you know, financially speaking, it's a, it's a risk yeah. they take. You know, we gamble, but they also gamble. Right, right, right. I mean, that's, yeah, that's a, you know, you don't have to gamble, it's an option, but I mean... Right, right, well, uh, a cruise, how long does a cruise take? I 
mean, this this is a two day, two night cruise. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And then your like your responsibilities would be for the uh, the sixty five dollar uh, per person government port and service charge. And again, like gratuities and gambling and any alcohol. Well, and then, you know, like all cruise ship. Go ahead. Oh, okay. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead first. I was just gonna, I was just gonna say, um, like all the cruise ships leaving the U.S. soil, um, you you must carry a major credit or debit card to board the ship. You do have a credit or debit card, correct? Yes, I do. But uh, I, the question I wanted to ask is, uh, port tax. You said. Yes, the port. Yeah, the port. How, port tax, yeah. Okay, well, my question is, how do you tax something that's free? I mean, like eight point, like let's say I get something for free, you know, here in Phoenix, sales tax is eight point one percent. Eight point one percent of zero is still zero. Yeah. So I don't but really. This, this fee. This fee. This, I mean, this 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 is a um, this is a uh, a processing fee that's mandatory on every cruise. It's, it's the um, it's required. This allows you to leave and re-enter the country. Like once you leave the country, that's what that's for. To leave the country, right? I this requires a passport, correct? Yes. Okay, well, fortunately, I have Either one, okay. but I paid $140 for my passport, so wouldn't that qualify as paying it? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand how this works. I mean, again, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tax. This tax is required that allows you to leave and re-enter the country. That's, that's what that tax is for. Okay. Well, on top of any other, yeah. I just think that's interesting, though, that there would be a tax for something that's technically free, or could it possibly be that the retail value, which let's just say is twenty one hundred dollars, am I taxed mm -hmm. for what the retail value would be, or am the, I just? Um, I'm sorry, that the resale value. Or am I? Like, I'm sorry, but okay. You said port tax, right? How do I yeah. how do I pay the port tax? Who do I write the check to? You would write it to Grand Caribbean Cruises. But I thought I'm paying the government. Wait, which? Well, yeah. The good. I mean, if I can, like, yeah. should yeah. I should I contact the Internal Revenue Service I mean, that's or? A really good question. That is a really good question. Uh, actually, I'm new in the depart uh, in this promotion department, so I don't want to tell you anything that's not true. So how about this? I will go over the details with you, and if, if I don't answer, I will get somebody to answer them. Fair enough? Yes, that sounds good. Thank you so much. No problem. Now, uh, like um, <clears throat> all right, um, like as I was saying, uh, it would be sixty-five per person, the government port and service charge. Gambling, uh, gratuities, and any alcohol. And um, okay, I and, could and I could make that back at the so casino. So that sounds good. Okay, and, and, and just to let you know, this cruise is a minimum for two people. So who will you be traveling with? Uh, I have a friend named Synthony. Okay, cool. All right. And um. Do you plan on surprising her, or just? Um. Or are you just gonna I, just tell I, her? Yeah, I don't. I don't know actually. The, that's kind of, you know, on the on the. It's kind of put me on the spot here. I'm wondering if uh, she kind of likes well, surprises, I guess. But if I were to, I mean, I've got a refrigerator full of produce, so I'm pretty sure that if I were to just surprise her and say, hey, we're going on a cruise on this day, you know, we'd be 
we'd have to yeah. drive across the country to Florida and then we would be over there ah. and then two days, two nights in the Bahamas. I'm guessing it's two days and two nights back or is it one day to the Bahamas and back? Yeah, two days and two nights, yeah. Yeah, but does it take two days to get to the Bahamas or does it take one day there and then one day back? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that, but um, the reason why I was asking is because this free cruise offers by invitation only and is not available to the general public. So oh. we only allow one call for a household. Okay, well, the, I mean, I just, I don't want our Brussels sprouts and broccoli to go bad, you know what I mean? We've got like, yeah, yeah. we got like 50 pounds of it in the fridge, but, okay. but, you know, there, we could probably find a time when we're not eating broccoli, I guess, but uh, what I'm wondering is, for this cruise, I, the, you said it's not available to the general public, so what I'm wondering is, I, uh, how did you get my number? The, the marketing department contacted me. Okay, well that that's oh, contacted you. I'm sorry. Well, well that okay. Well, that's pretty cool to know that uh, I've got, I guess, somewhat of a VIP status in uh, Grand Caribbean cruises because I love the Caribbean. I've always wanted to go. I haven't been on a cruise since 1997. Oh, so you've been on a cruise? I was on a. You've been on a cruise before. I was on a glass bottom boat ride in Central Texas in 1997. That's the only time. What are the prerequisites? Uh, well, Go ahead. You still there, Joseph? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, all right, great. All right, I just want to say you're in for a real treat. Um, now you and your guests will set uh, will set sail on board on the Grand Classica cruise ship, which is the official cruise line of the Grand Bahamas Island, and is departing from Palm Beach, Florida. Again, you'll have your own private inside stateroom. All of your meals and entertainment are included. 24 hours a day. So make sure you bring a healthy appetite because the food on board the ship is truly amazing. Now, there are five fabulous restaurants with five star dishes. Hopefully, they got moth water and desserts. Hopefully, they got lots of broccoli also, there. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, I mean, they, we also offer uh, flexible dining options that are designed to cater to any occasion or personal taste. And, as you can imagine, the Grand Classic is like a floating resort. There's two swimming pools, a water slide, two jacuzzis on board. And they even have a children's play area if you even plan on bringing children. And then there's a spa, a multi-level theater. And there are all types of exciting activities in, to enjoy, including the Las Vegas-style shows. You got comedy acts, live music, dancing. And, of course, we have an onboard casino. So, um, remember, if you get lucky, you get, get the jackpot. Don't, don't forget who sent you. Yeah, I'm. Uh, but I'm, I'm wondering. Just I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm wondering though. What were uh, the thing is? Uh, Synthony is 20 years old. She's not old enough to drink, but she's you know she's my friend going with me. So you asked me. Oh, I see. Okay. No, you asked me in the beginning. Am I at least 25 or older? And I said yes. But yes. she's not 25 yes, or older. Uh, uh, uh. That's fine. That's, okay. that's, that's fine. Okay, well then why was there a requirement for me to be 25 or over? Just, 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 just you have to be... Just you. It doesn't have to be, you know, her too. Um... Huh, okay. Alright, so... Now, um... Now let me, let me tell you that, um... Your, your port of call is the Grand Bahamas Island, and pretty much the people there are really friendly, and the scenery is breathtaking. And it offers the, the island offers historical charm and tons of underwater adventures. So meaning you can go scuba diving, parasailing, swimming with the dolphins, or even just lay back on the beach and relax. Swimming the with the dolphins. Are gorgeous. And the, and the water is crystal clear right to the bottom. 
What if, also enjoy shopping in a straw market, take a glass bottom boat ride, or you can oh. even try your luck at the island casinos. Okay. And also, Joseph, I want to let you know that as an extra bonus to start you out as a winner while on board the Grand Classica, we're going to give you $50 in match play chips to use in our casino. But who knows, maybe you could turn a little free money into some extra spending money. Wouldn't that be nice? And that would be awesome. I mean, shoot. I'm... I'd be all for that, but I, I'm curious, though. I'm curious. I mean, y yeah. you, you know, this is a cruise across the Atlantic Ocean yeah. to the Bahamas, which isn't too far away from mainland America, but it's still an ocean cruise. So what I'm wondering yeah. is, you know, since you guys work for Grand Caribbean, I'm, I figure you guys are the best to ask for this, but what about lifeboats like let's say for example uh, the captain runs the ship aground due to bad weather or something and there's a gash in the hull maybe on the starboard or port side and the ship starts leaning and then begins to sink what are the situations for the lifeboats like how many what is the capacity of the lifeboats versus the capacity of the ship itself Plenty, it's plenty of life jackets on the on the ship. Life, you know, lifeboats. There's, there's all that stuff there. It's, I need to know numbers because plenty is, you know, that's what they said about the Titanic. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, I don't care so much about myself, but Synthony's really special to me. So I want to make sure that, you know, at least there'd be a space for her if something were to go wrong. You know, you've got to be prepared for any eventuality. Yeah, there's no ice between here and the Bahamas. <laughs> well, I know that, but I'm talking, well, Costa Concordia fell over in the water because the captain ran the ship aground. There was no ice there either. Alright, well, are we? But I'm just. I mean, if you. If, I was just asking because. Uh, I was just asking because I want to make sure that, you know, they always say it's better to be safe than sorry, and, you know, I'm. I apologize, but I just. It just seems a bit dubious about a free cruise because, like, what. What is. Yeah, we travel. Well, how is it free? We travel thirty to forty thousand people a month. That's a lot. Like, to the Bahamas, so you're in good hands. Well, that's good, but how is it free? You're just paying your taxes on it. That's that's it. I mean. Right, but how is the uh, how are they going to make money uh, at Grand Caribbean if I pay to the government and I don't pay anything to you guys? I mean, because even if you're filling unused staterooms to fill the ship to maximum yeah, capacity, gonna, it's because still... Because the guests, they're going to be drinking and gambling, that's, that's how. That's how we generate income. Unless I get We're the big win. you on the cruise. Okay, well, that, that sounds good. That sounds good. I, I was just wondering because, you know, filling up extra staterooms with passengers and their belongings is going to weigh down the ship, so that's going to take more fuel. That's why I was asking, because, you know, the... You know, I'm just curious about this, because I'm not used to anything being free. There's always a catch. Alright, let me let me just go, uh, go through the rest of the details, and then if you're interested, then we'll go from there. If not, we'll, you know... No, I'm interested, you know, no definitely. More. Don't get me wrong, I'm interested. Alright, let me go through the rest of the details. Sure thing. Now, as I, as I said earlier, as I said earlier, your only out-of-pocket expenses are for normal things like alcoholic beverages, gambling, tips, and each passenger is required to pay their own governmental port and processing fee that is mandatory on every cruise. Now, this is only $65 per person which is a total of $130 today for you and your guests. So this tax is required and allows you to leave and re-enter re the country. And now as a reminder, you have a full 18 months to travel and all we ask for is that you provide a 60 day notice to guarantee your date. The only dates that are not available for travel are December 24th to January 4th. 
So also keep in mind, because you will be leaving the country, it is necessary that you either have a passport or a birth certificate and driver's license. Okay. Now, upon acceptance, upon acceptance, I will transfer you briefly to our shipping and processing department, where they will digitally preserve the integrity of this promotion on an audio receipt, and make sure that you are fully aware of everything you are receiving and anything you may be responsible for. So, in order to get you started, I will need an email address so I can send your confirmation receipt. Okay, that sounds good, but uh, I'm curious though, because, you know, you said that they make their money by drinking and gambling, so do they serve alcohol in the casino? Like, could I have a martini while I'm at the slot machines? Of course. Okay, but I'm just curious though, it also, like, let's say I'm drinking a bunch of martinis, or, uh, I prefer tequila, to be honest with you, but, uh, you know, if I were to get sick, like if I drank too much and I puked all <laughs> And I puked all over the slot machine. Alright, I'm gonna pass this deal on, so have a great day. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I need to... I need to know, though. I... Wait, you asked me for my email address, right? I couldn't, sorry, I couldn't do it.